Hey sixth grade, for this week's project we are going to focus on texture. Texture is the way something feels, whether it's rough or smooth. Um, in art, there are two different types of texture. You have real texture where you can feel it, and you can see I created the hair on my cartoon self-portrait with actually um, a toilet paper roll. You are allowed to use whatever paper you have available, but I thought it might be a little bit fun to create a textured hair out of something that we can recycle. Um, and then the other type of texture is called implied texture, where it looks like it has a texture to it, but when you feel it, it's smooth. So we're implying that there's texture. And I did that by creating a stone background for my cartoon self-portrait. So this is a little goofy, a little fun, this project, but I thought it would be a fun way to learn about texture. So here we go. So for this project, you are going to need a... Um, toilet paper roll. Now, if you don't have access to these or you want to use paper instead, like construction paper, that's totally fine. I was trying to pick a material that most students would have. Um, you will need scissors, a pencil, um, a couple markers, and um, what was the other thing? Oh, and glue. Now, if you don't have glue, you can just arrange the hair on your self-portrait and take a picture of it. It's okay if it's not glued down, um, because I understand not all of us have these supplies. And of course, we'll need cranes because we're gonna be adding color to our cartoon self-portrait. So let's get started. Um, we did self-portraits and I kind of talked you through the process when we're in class about how to draw a proportionally correct one. And we are going to still use some of those guidelines, but this is going to be much more simpler and fun. Now, since it's a cartoon version, if you want to do a different like style of cartoon, that's totally fine. So I'm going to start with sketching out the oval for my head, keeping it pretty light because I might end up erasing. Okay, so then I'm going to draw my neck, I'm going to swoop down this way for the neckline, and then I'm going to go in and add the shoulders. Okay, so once you've kind of gotten a good starting point for your self-portrait, I like to just quickly divide the face up, um, so I divide it in half, and that's our line of symmetry, and then I divide it in half again. Now, realize a lot of the hair is going to go up here, so that is why we're starting the eye line so far down. So, I'm going to start with my eyes, and I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm basically doing like simple, um, like rainbows almost, and I'm not even going to put a bottom part to the eye because it's a cartoon. I'm just going to do a circle like this for my eyes. So you can see that there. All right, then I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna draw a line, and this is for my nose. So for my nose, I start with a curved line, then I curve the lines around like this. Some people say it looks like a little mustache. I know it looks silly, kinda of reminds me of like a little worm. And then I go around, I go around and honestly after I draw that you can see that it's the base of the nose but sometimes I have to go in and fix this just a little bit so I'm going to erase just to make it look a little better okay and then let's put you know what I forgot I'm going to add some eyelashes um, and then of course my eyebrows but notice I'm not taking a ton of time on this. I'm not trying to make it super realistic. Um, and then for the mouth, actually, I'm just gonna draw a line like this and then a little mark to represent like the bottom lip. And that's all for my face features. Um, and then I'm gonna draw the ears. I just put like a little squiggle line to represent like the inside of the ear. Okay. So I've kind of laid out my self-portrait. Notice I'm not adding the hair because that's gonna come afterwards. Um, that's what we're using the paper towel for. So, um, cause or the toilet paper roll is going to be like the actual texture. Um, and then our background is honestly gonna be our implied texture. So, 
what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a marker and I'm going to trace all of my lines. Okay, so I finished tracing a marker and I erased my pencil lines, and now I'm going to start adding color. Yes, I know, our self-portraits look a little funny right now because we don't have hair, we're a little bit bald, but that's okay because we're gonna change that eventually. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to color my self-portrait with crayons. Now, um, if you have oil pastels, if you have watercolor, um, if you have colored pencils, you're more than welcome to use those materials. Now, if you don't have any crayons and not really anything to color with, it's okay just to shade it a little bit with like your pencil, but I'm going to add color to my self-portrait using crayon. Okay, so I finished coloring. I had a little bit of value as I was um, coloring my face. You can see that I took a lighter color and then took like a lighter brown and a darker brown to add some value. If you wanna get fancy, you can do that. If you wanna keep it pretty like straightforward and just color one color, that's totally fine too. So the next step of our project is to create implied texture. That's where we make it look like rough or smooth. Um, based on our drawing, but when we go to feel it, it isn't actually the texture. So you can get creative. You could do a grassy background. You could do a brick background. You could do a watery background. It's up to you. You can be creative with this. I think I'm gonna create a stone background for mine. So I'm going to start by kind of sketching out lines back here, almost like I'm doing brick. And then I'm going to draw, just to start off a couple lines. And it is kind of looking like brick, but we're gonna change that in a second. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna kind of round and maybe add like a couple different stones to make it look like stone. I'm gonna go through this and do that all the way down. So it looks like I'm behind a stone wall. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm eventually gonna trace it in marker. Okay, now that I've traced my lines, um, you can see that I added a couple little details where it looks like the stone's cracking. Now, um, to make these stones look like they have texture, we're gonna have to use an element of art that we went over last week, which is value. Value is going to help us make it look um, kind of like realistic, like stone. So I'm gonna start with a lighter gray. And I'm not pressing hard, I'm kind of just doing, trying to make it as even as possible. Okay. Then after I do that, I'm gonna go in with my black crayon, I'm gonna shade it, and shade it in, and I'm gonna go all the way around with this. And I'm going to do this with each of the different stones. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's going to look pretty cool when I'm done. So I'm going to do that for all the stones. Okay, so now that I've finished shading uh, my background to make it look like stone, I have the implied texture done. And now we're actually going to do like the actual texture where you can actually feel it. Um, so we're gonna use a toilet paper roll and we're gonna start by cutting it in half. Okay, so you have a couple different options. Now, um, if you don't wanna use 
a toilet paper roll because you have different types of construction paper, that's fine. You could go crazy and make your hair pink or blue. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but I'm using a toilet paper roll because I thought it'd be fun to reuse something that would just be recycled or trashed. So um, there's a couple of different ways to approach it. If you have shorter hair, you can cut it the short way so it curls up and like even if you wanted to like add little hairs like this, and we don't want it to look realistic, like that's not gonna happen um, with the materials we're using, so we can get a little goofy with it. Um, so I'm gonna cut these for the shorter hairs up top. And like I'm gonna start arranging them around here and I like that they flip up. Um, because that's creating a texture. Now, um, if you have longer hair, you can cut it the long way and you can keep it like this. Or sometimes it's fun to fan fold it so it pops out a little more. And you can attach that as your hair. Um, or you could even try rolling it a little on the pencil see if that'll give us a little bit of a curl. It should because it is cardboard. It's just hard to twist it, but I can twist a little and I can add a little bit of a curl to it if you want. So you can do all different types of textures. You can stick with one, it's up to you, but then you're gonna arrange it um, and glue it on. Now remember, if you don't have glue, that's okay. Just arrange it and then take a picture and send it to me. Okay, so I finished gluing on the hair. It looks a little bit wacky, but it has a fun texture to it. So this is the end of the project. We've used implied and real texture, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of your cartoon self-portraits. Bye.